hello now we have this aluminum sheet which i want to deposit zinc over it so that i can use for the battery because once you coat with zinc it gives a very better shelf life so i want to coat it i have rubbed all the surfaces clean so now and washed it also so what the requirement is zinc oxide then i have taken 50% sodium hydroxide that is 50 gram dissolved in 50 ml of 100 ml of water so that is 50 ml 50% sodium hydroxide 25 ml of this i have taken just i will be pouring the zinc oxide here in front of you i am doing it you can also you can even refer my previous uh zinc uh, what to zinc batteries also there are your so okay so just roughly i've taken the zinc oxide now i'm going to mix the 50% sodium hydroxide into this and make a paste this is what we require so once you make a final paste here see that it is free from lumps and all that give a small time so it has now become like a milk a thick milk it is okay you will see thick milk it is so this we will evenly spread over the aluminum sheet so this is aluminum sheet okay you see that it is evenly and with a short time we have to do all this okay like this have to see don't give any gap okay like this we are doing it so you can see same immediately there is no zinc getting deposited you can be able to see color even then opposite side will coat it same will coat it need not be even we want only coating here we are not going for any competition we want to coat it as far as for thick coating of zinc is best give some time no that's all all your experience it is okay you able to see i made it to keep on the above so this zinc oxide paste with caustic soda you can even use caustic potash all same zinc get deposited on the aluminum sheet just to give us small weight not so this is one process next will be this plate now we have made ready this will be our negative plate then i'll show you what is the positive plate okay so you can see zinc coated properly on the aluminum this is our base aluminum base so on that we have coated zinc properly this is what is required for us this is enough let it dry this will mat finish will be that's all the other thing our battery work that is we'll show you the zinc plate the aluminum coated zinc plate have slowly inserted as a circular you able to see at the bottom ceramic pad have just to avoid the discharge from the positive negative you able to see this i made ready now the other thing i'll show so the positive carbon dot no which i mixed with manganese dioxide with the, all this carbon graphite mixed it i made a paste and fired it it became a graphite rod with mno2 and trace of cobalt and lead this i coat i'm then wrapped with this kind of polyester film this one then after this i have slowly made like this able to see 
like this the final touch the same thing step by step i'm showing from this this one this one okay after doing this i am going to insert into this so previously i was putting a spotter form in a bag polyester bag then i used to wet it and all that this time i done a little different now i am going to fill this wet properly with this electrolyte what is the electrolyte zinc sulfate trace of zinc chlor i mean chloride and manganese sulfate this i am going to wet it properly and we'll see what is the voltage generates okay so i slowly poured through this gap electrolyte i filled it up to this it has filled little time time because these are all fresh now the ceramic pads no they have to get wet now it will be around 10 to 20 percent wet so you cannot expect immediate volt this will be aluminium ion battery but this is zinc coated zinc coated aluminium ion battery this also has very good shelf life i have tested myself even after one one year there is life if you charge it again it you can see the motor running you able to see yeah let it let us wait and see what the it generates no you can see the volt hello you can see the volt 2.39 1.4 it was 1.39 now it is constant so we can see simultaneously the current also This I put in ten amps. I put to see. Then this is positive. This is negative. I shall fix it. Okay. Nearly one amps. It is going reaching one amps. Okay. Nearly one amps. It is so. One point three nine volt and one amps. You can see even the motor running. saturation no this way so this time i have modified it that is why more amps are there previously i used to get only 400 to 500 milliampere this time immediately you are getting nearly 1 amps it is you can see the motor running i can fix it and show you See the motor is fine. So we can see the motor running fine. It is. It is nearly 900 milliamps, nearing 1 amps. It is. So I charge this battery using six volt and one amps, and we'll see what is the volt it has gained now. It was one point three nine. We can see what is the volt it gains. So this is a positive. This is negative. One point six five. Able to see it is constant. That is why these are all rechargeable. Once it gets saturated and if you recharge it, best batteries, zinc batteries, you no, know, they give better density. So this one point six five volt, we can see the current also. You can see the current in front of you. I'll show you. Current also I'll show you. This will be a positive. This will be a positive. Just be seeing that wire negative. One point one point one five. So it is amps now is one point one five. Before it was. 900 milliampere no 1.15 so this cycles no once get saturated we can get better volt and better current also okay friends if you like this video please click the like button you can subscribe you can comment thank you friends